Hello everybody, I am Super Mario Sonic Lover, and welcome to finally another Mario LP, like it's been quite a few, quite a while at this point. I think it's, I, I don't even remember when the last, when I uh, actually did the Mario 64 replay, but yeah, either way though, we're going to be playing some new Super Mario Bros. DS here, and um, yeah, I bet I may as well just explain how I'm going to, how um, I'm going to be doing these games from now on, so... Uh, last time we did 64, and now we're doing um, New Super Mario Bros. DS, and we're kind of gonna kind of alternate between the uh, new series and the 3D games, just to uh, I, I guess keep things interesting. And if I were to do all the new new games in one go, I would get drained out to heck. So I think this way would make is will make me appreciate these games a lot more. Uh, doing it like this and it's gonna help when we get to galaxy because if i played both of those games back to back then yeah i i'd uh, probably get drained as well in that case so yeah i think this is the best way to go about it it's also the first ds lp i'm doing and i'm using the uh well i'm using the wii u virtual console for this and let's see how the how things go because it's the first time i'm actually using uh the DS Virtual Console on the Wii U, besides like uh, brain training and all that, but yeah, that's neither here nor there. This is, uh, well, you know what I mean. Let's just get started. <laughs> Yep, so, um, Peach is kidnapped again because this is a Mario game, um, and, um, yeah, we technically see a new character, not really, because, like, this game, game came out after Sunshine, which is where Bowser Jr. debuted him, but considering how I'm playing these games, um, this is the first time we're seeing it, seeing him in, uh, this is the first time we're seeing him, basically, and... Yeah, he's a, he's basically what you'd expect. Like, he's but he's a uh, Bowser's son. I can't believe I got hit by that. Um, and you know, about, according to Miyamoto, like uh, the, his only son is Bowser Jr. and the Kooplings are just like henchmen or something like that. Um, I I can kind of see like what he uh, I can kind of see that being seeing that make sense because like. Um, what is it? Bowser Jr. is the only one out of, out of those guys who actually kind of resembles Bowser, like, um, or more specifically, like, Baby Bowser, like, you look at, uh, ba Baby Bowser in, like, Mario, uh, Yoshi's Island and, and all that, he looks very similar to ba Bowser Jr., so I can kind of, I can kind of, um, believe that. And I've missed the second star coin already, that's great. Uh, let's just re let's just do uh, get through the level, um, but yeah, Bowser Jr. Um, only <laughs> apparently is he's Bowser's only real child, and the other Kooplings are just like henchmen or something. Like, hmm, it's kind of interesting. I, I think it I think it's most uh, generally pretty believable, Con like considering how different the Kooplings look to Bowser, and you know, considering how much how much uh, the Kooplings have to, or not the Kooplings, but the Koopas have to, um, like how many there are, they, they probably produce, uh, reproduce asexually, because like, considering how many t how many we kill uh, on like a daily basis, um, it, it kind of makes sense for that to be the case, you know, uh, unless like Bowser gets like really busy, and you know. <laughs> Uh, but regardless, um, so yeah, this is um a new take on the whole 2D Mario formula because like before this game came out, uh, we never really saw. Oh, what the heck is this? 
Okay. So I don't know why it's changing sight screens, but I don't like that. Hold on. Okay, so if I Yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to find a good way to make this uh make the screens work because again this is the first time of me seriously using a DS uh DS virtual console game on the Wii U and yeah I don't know why it changes like that. That's really distracting. I don't know, uh maybe like this? But no, 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 the controls are like messed up and it's... What in the heck is going on here? Ha! <laughs> Okay, so that works still the same as always. I just want to check out the work. I guess we're just going to have to make do, because like, the, there's not really a lot I can do about this. Yeah! I think the... That actually... Um, yeah, like, get... If you finish a level at a certain time, like the digits are, uh, the number digits are set in a certain way, I think it's like 222 two, two or whatever, or something like that, then you'll get like mushroom houses like this. So, just pay attention to where the bow. Let's just. I usually assume the bows is on the left side. So let's see. Okay, never mind. So yeah, when you hit the Bowser, like, it, compl it just cancels, cancels, uh, you out, cancels getting all the others out, all the other one-ups out, and you really get, like, what you, uh, previously, previously picked up, uh, or whatever. I can't talk today. It's also been a while since I've done a solo LP, so I'm a little bit rusty at this, because, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> it's like, at this point you'd expect, like, every LP would be with Scrappy and Jason, but, nah. No, I still, I still got solo stuff up my sleeve, it's just, haven't done one in a while. But yeah, um, just explaining some, uh, some things here, like, we can use a lot of our abilities from Mario 64 and the 3D games in general. Like, we have wall jumps, that can be very handy. Uh, we have ground, uh, ground pounds, which can be very helpful in, like, finding secrets, with, like, just, like, down there and all that. And, you know, I, th I think... Control-wise, I think this uh, really uh, works pretty well. Like, you still have the rumba and you still have, like, your power-ups and all that. So, still feels like two general, like, 2D Mario action and all that. And it just feels like a general, um, like, mix of the 3D games as well. With the whole moveset change and the slightly modernized graphics, if you will, to... Make it feel more in line with the, uh, modern games, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, there will be, like, new power-ups as well as we go through here. Um, one we actually saw in the first level, which was the Mega Mushroom, which is a very nice cathartic, uh, power-up, which I think was in Mario 64 DS. Don't quote me on that, because I never actually played that game. Uh, but... Yeah, it's a nice little, it's a fun little power-up where you just, like, blast through all the enemies and blocks and pipes and all that. And the more, the more things you break open, the more chances you'll get to earning one-ups. So, you, like, you have, you have the, this, like, bar on the top of the screen. And the more, and the more it fills up, the more one-ups you'll get. And I think the max is, like, five or so. So, yeah, you can really rack up some point uh one ups if you if you uh just go blazing through the stage. And another another thing that we've been trying to get is the star coins, which um it's ba it's basically a staple in the new Super Mario Bros. series. 
Um, basically, you, there's three in each level, and um, what they do, at least in this game, is unlock uh, different, different like toad houses and just route, routes in the hub world and all that, uh, or overworld rather. And um, funny enough, this game and New Super Mario Bros. 2 are the only games in the series to do that. Like, um, like the handheld games are the only ones that actually like give you, um, like see that sign up there. Like, I have to use five star coins to to get to that one up house. Yeah, that this game and Mario New Mario 2 are the only games that do that for some reason. Uh, the the console games, I forget if they're just just there for the well nine levels, but I could be wrong. And that's not something I wanted. Okay, good. But yeah, mushroom houses, you just get a random block and it just quickly changes between items and... Yes, I'm gonna have to use... If, there, there's points where you're gonna need specific items or power-ups to get to, uh, like, secret areas and, like, find star coins and all that, so... I'm probably gonna have to abuse save states in that case, but... Uh, that probably won't be for quite a while, so... We're, we're all good for now. And, yeah. There, there's some... Like, stuff like, um, the secret exits. We, we just found a secret exit. So those things are, like, back from Mario World. So that's cool. Um, some of the... I don't remember, uh, exactly where all of them are. And if I will criticize this game for one thing, it's the fact that, um, you don't always know where a secret exit's gonna be. Like, what, uh, what level will have a secret exit. So, like, you could be exploring like a level for ages trying to find one and find out that there wasn't one in the in the level to begin with because like you kind of have to use ob observe like the world map and all that um but I, it's n i swear it's not always accurate i don't know like i just liked it more in mario world where there were levels that had secret exits were uh were made like the the circle you play uh, the circle was red um so you knew what levels to do twice or whatever yeah, it's not the it's not the end of the world and if if it does come down to it i will look them up but yeah so we're going to no i won't do that yep and this is going to be a complete 100% playthrough. So we're going to get all the secret exits, all star coins, everything. And there's also two worlds that you don't actually have to go to, world 4 and world 7, but yeah, I'll talk about that later. I'll talk more about that later. All right, let's see if we can get a better get more one-ups this time cuz that was kind of a bad uh first go. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We missed one, but that's pretty good, all things considered. I can dig it. Also, those flying blocks just... That I... I also honestly forgot that that was even a thing, but... They just fly around the, the uh, uh, world map and... When you play the level, uh, they're hovering over, they give you a power-up, so that's very handy. But yeah, I, I haven't played this game in years, so... Um, if I forget where some things are, then... You know... <laughs> that might be why. And I'm also just so used to how... Having a spin jump that the later games have, and that's not in this game, so... As far as I'm, as far as I recall, like, I tried earlier just testing out, testing things out, and I just couldn't get to get anything to work. So I assume it's just not in this game. Um, it does not like music, I guess. Like just bring bring that up uh, quickly. Like I think the music's fine. Uh, like. The main theme, I guess you could call it, is pretty nice, um, and I do like the 
the, the level kind of looks like it's... Yeah, like, do the Koopas dance in this one? Like, yeah. Yeah, like, I like how the Koop the Koopas and, like, all that, like, just look at the screen wh when it goes, like, bah! And all that. So there's, like, some nice little charm and all that. And I think the music's fine. Um, like, I don't think it's, like, the greatest Mario soundtrack ever or anything. But, like, it gets the job done. And, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So now we're going to the fortress. I believe there's a secret exit in this level, as you could probably tell from the cannon, so... I'm gonna try looking for that first. Um... I'm not gonna... <laughs> okay, yeah, that was my bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna be using the cannons because they basically just make you skip a good chunk of the game. And, the, again, this is 100%, so I'm not gonna bother, like, skipping stuff. But yeah, let's not be too hasty this time. Uh. Or I can just slip in between those, okay. I should not be dying to this. This is a very easy level. Alright. Okay, okay. Now I'm paranoid. Because <laughs> that was just awful, I'm sorry. It'd be nice if I could get my one-ups back. But I doubt that's gonna happen anytime soon. Then again, it is World 1, so you never know. Well, it's a nice little trick you can do. Well, not from here, because the ceiling's too low. But if you pound on a coin block and just hold down, you can just get all the coins really quickly. So that's nice. Alright. So there's a uh, coin outlines like this as well, so you go near them and the coins appear and then you can grab them. Alright, I think the secret sits in here. Oh crud. Is I here maybe? Oh. Yeah, there we go. We're on the right track. What in the heck? Did I just skip it? No, I don't I don't think I went the right way. Unless I have to do Oh no, we're gonna have to come back later. I I don't even remember that being a thing. Oh well. But I do remember seeing a star coin back. Yeah. So we're going to grab that real quick. Alright. Okay. I should not being- I should not feel this anxious on the first world. <laughs> that might be bad? Okay, good. I don't need that. And now we fight Bowser Jr. first of several times. And he's a joke. <laughs> There's no ifs, ands, or buts. He's already done. Yeah, so he... If you just jump on him, he... Normally, he takes three hits, but if you pound... If you ground pound him, then it takes, like, two hits out of him, so... That's very helpful to know. It just keeps... Uh, makes it really quick, and... Yeah, Bowser Jr. really isn't a threat in this game. Yeah, I'd like to save. So we're gonna have to go back to the level later. So just go keep that in mind. Uh, um, do I want to do this? Cause that just that's gonna make me uh, give me a mega mushroom on my um, item slot thing. But I don't really want to do that right now. So I'm gonna leave it. 
Alright. Yay! That's still a thing. I guess it can kind of be like uh, a little bit annoying. Uh, well, not annoying, but like when the Koopas like look at the screen for a second, I guess it can make it a little bit hard to um, like tie time your jump on them because like they just kind of stop for a half a second and you know and now we're gonna have to look at that tiny screen over there I really don't understand this setup like what is the deal here like there's no I, I see no practical use for changing it like that. that that's just silly does like does anyone have any like ideas on why that happens because I'd like to know Oh uh, yeah, let's just go big again. Alright. So yeah, the uh, mini mushroom is also a new power-up in this game, and it's basically what you'd think it is. Alright. Star coin number two. Yes, cool. Yeah, it makes you run really fast, jump really, really high, and run with water and all that, so, you know. It's very situational, though. You won't see me use it that much. But it, it it's also the key to seeing World 4 and 7, so, yeah. They, it, it's an interesting, uh, they, they do some interesting things with the mini mushroom. So I go, oh crap, I missed one. Where did I miss that? All right, let's try that again. Let's just run through the level and just... Because like, it's after the... Because like, what I like about the star coins in these games is that uh, they let you know how far it is from the other star coins. So we already got... Okay, so that was like the second one. So we got to like pay attention to where it could be here. Also, yeah, this is before like the checkpoints you touch were a thing, so there's just random checkpoints. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, mini mushroom it is. <laughs> I'm not doing it like that, that's silly. Alright, so if I just go back a little bit. Okay, I really need to stop dying to stupid stuff right now. And I'm not using up the firepower because that's a waste. Alright. Okay. Right, now we just have to keep hold of this. I don't think you can really kill uh, normal enemies like this, or en really many enemies in general. If I just jump and... Okay, I'm kind of scared to, but... Yeah, I'll just bounce off. Uh, you can kill enemies as you ground pound, but, you know, it's best to just avoid them a good chunk of the time. Alright, cool. Now I'm gonna use this because I'm not taking any chances. All right. Speed run strats go. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Woo. Sometimes, using the star coins will grant you access to secondary levels, like like so. But um, yeah, what is this? That looks like a water level, so you know what? I'm gonna actually no, I I, must, I I need I need um one of the new power ups. 
to get to one of the secret exits, so I might as well just play this stage anyway. But water level time. Eh, not much to say about these. They control a... I, I, I guess they control a bit better uh, in this game compared to like uh, the uh, the um, uh, older games, but not by that much really. It's basically st still the same general idea. Dang it, that was a waste. That was a waste and a half. Oh, I thought those were kill me. I will be killed if I go back to the go back too far on the screen. Okay, okay. See, see a game trying to block me from getting that. <laughs> okay, two right next to each other. I can dig that. Game looks pretty good for an early DS game, I'll, I'll say. I'm not sure exactly when this came out. Game came out. I know Mario Wii was 2009, so was well, high wing cap. <laughs> it, like it's not even. It, it it's just so blatant. Like they didn't even try hiding that. There's no way. There's no way. Come on. You gotta be fair with that. Nope. Nope. You just you gotta abuse the ceiling. Okay, the oh, okay. Go go the other way. Come on. Okay. We're just gonna beat the stage without dying. And we can do we can do just that. Huzzah. Okay. I'm gonna try this. Nope. Yeah, you can do actually do like a 3D Mario style triple jump if I can do this right. Oh crap. Oops. Uh, come on. Screw it, that's good enough, whatever. There's no real practical use for the triple jump, but it's just kind of a nice aesthetic. Alright, we can go to the castle, but we're not going to do that. This is where I'm going to use save states, because... Quite frankly, screw this. Why she? Is it oh yeah, it does this. Cause what we're wanting, wanting is that blue shell right there, which is not that. Blue, 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 blue. blue. There we go. Cool. Second try. So this blue shell is gonna be our ticket to getting a lot of uh, secret exits and stuff, I believe. For my remember, anyway. And this is the first time we're gonna have to use it. So basically, I'm not gonna use it right away, just in case we lose it, but basically what it does is, um, when we start running it at, like, full speed, you have to be using the run button, by the way. It doesn't work otherwise. Is, um, you just go spinning around in the blue shell, and you kind of just have to jump and um, go through obstacles in in a shell the entire time. It's I, I don't really know how to how to what to describe um, compa compare it to, but it's a very unique Mario Power and it's not something we really see again. It's also very finicky though, so. Uh, well, not finicky, but it's very easy to lose it, so you want to be careful about that. Alright.
I, I, I'd say the new power-ups in this game are a nice new addition to the Mario cinematic universe. I don't, I don't freaking know. Um, but yeah, like I, 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 I like these power-ups fine enough. Like the Mega Mushroom again is cathartic fun. The blue shell in introduces some interesting puzzles and uh, just level design ideas, I guess. Like with this. Um. And I, I don't know, like, what else is there? Like, there's these two, the mini mushroom. Like, I, I'm not too big on the mini mushroom, but I appreciate at least the um, the effort in trying to make some interesting ideas happen with with it. Because, like, again, they're the ticket to getting to two worlds in this game. And the way you do that is actually very creative, I think. And I will get the top. I will get to the top. Yes! For some reason, 1-ups are really difficult and picky to get. Because, like, I swear I get to the top of the flagpole half the time and it's just 8,000 points. It's just like, eh. <laughs> so, if, you, if we go here, I think the world it's going to send us to is on the bottom. Yeah, World 5, and we're not going to do that <laughs> for obvious reasons. So we're just going to... Oh, we can't actually exit this place? I... Hmm. What if I just go out here this way? And if I quit, then it's going to mess everything up. So that's not going to quit the level. That's just going to quit the entire file. So I guess we're just going to do this and go straight back to World 1. Oh no. What? Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, no, we're not going to snow snow world for quite some time, so don't be fooled by that. I guess I can just use the cannons just to make everything blue and like nice. But yeah, we just have... Well, we have two levels to place uh, in the world now. Uh, sure, I might as well. I might as well use this up. Because we don't have anything in our slot. I like... Uh, also, um, character that was... I think introduced in, introduced in Sunshine. He's appeared in... Several spin-offs, I believe, um, and yeah, he's just kind of here in the in the um, the mushroom houses, and apparently he knows magic <laughs> or whatever he's doing with his making these blocks up here. Okay, no, I can't, I can't jump higher. Oh, okay, I can jump higher. Honestly, I don't know if I really want the shell for this level. Because I feel like shenanigans are going to occur. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, I feel like there's going to be something up there. Yep. Of course. And as many coins as possible because, like always, get 100 and you get one up. That's pretty self explanatory. And considering how many times I've been dying, I kind of need one ups. So that's a thing. But yeah, like, I, won't, I wouldn't recommend using the shell in, on levels like this where there's a lot of tight platforming because the issue turn into a uh, shell. In, go into shell form, um, then y you're kind of screwed. <laughs> Alright. Eh, eh. Dang it. Yeah, red coins. Return for Mario, six, Mario 64 and Sunshine. Uh, in this game, like, it, you, you, you see it's like, it's based on the timer. You get a red ring. Um, the... 
eight appear on in the stage next week, really close to each other, and you, if you get all of them, you get like a power up or something. So, you know, it's very nice. Yeah, no. Oh well. I really wish I could change my power up because I don't really want to show at this point. Oh well. We got some one ups to get. Okay. Huzzah. I'm just gonna YOLO this one. Okay, that went horribly wrong. Yeah, it's pretty much luck luck based, so. Wee! Wee! Cool. Ah, uh, if you went to the castle, that would have been, like, amazingly convenient. Alright, just to make sure, is there a way to, like, check, uh. Well, I guess we can just do it manually, so. Go that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, we can just go to the castle. One of many. Uh, tight ropes. Oh yeah, if you want to get out of shell form, just stop running. It's not as simple as that, really. You know, hmm. You know, I'll just keep going as as is for now, because I think the reason why the fire flower isn't, uh, I'm not changing into fire Mario, or it's not being put onto the thing, onto the item slot, is because the mega mushroom just overpowers it, quite literally. So, because like the stronger the item is, the more likely it is to get um uh, replaced. I guess I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how the item system works. Uh, can I please? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just gonna ignore that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, how am I supposed to get that? So good in the hood. Uh, no, it's not because I don't know where the third one is. Oh, I see, I see. You thought you could hide from me? You thought wrong. Alright, so that's world one complete. Well, almost. We just had to fight the boss now. I'm not even mad about that. I'm actually kind of glad because I kind of <laughs> wanted to be able to have a different item. Oh, hi, Boozer. <laughs> Bowser turn. So, you, something funny you can do is you have a Mega Mushroom to use. LOL. Oh, jeez. That never happened before, why now? <laughs> so, uh, we just kind of burnt Bowser alive? Yeah, we'll, we won't be seeing anything more of that until World 8, so... Ooh, spooky suspense, I don't know. Um, but yeah, how long have we been, have we been going for? 29 minutes. Uh... I guess, uh, I, I guess I can just do one more world. Why not? Why the heck not? 